Good morning, Hassan. Hello, Pedro. How how are you? We're doing good here. A little late. My completely my fault. No uh, worries. Look forward to getting started here. Uh, Michael Patnick versus John Shields, Game Three ITSL. Yeah, let's see what happens today, right? What do we know about these players? Oh, the hands. Uh, well, we don't have too much time yeah. to to get in but Michael Patnick's top of his division or second is in his division now 13 and 2 John Shields also in a playoff berth 11 and 5 both are strong players um they're also look eager to get started so I guess we'll uh we'll jump right into it maybe then yeah uh, this is the last chance for uh, Europe to come back right yeah uh they're down to nothing uh all three games got to be won and I mean Hey, I'm still cheering for uh, for Team USA. Or sorry, <laughs> Team uh, Rest of the World, not USA. <laughs> rest of the world, so. I'll, I'll root for the Europe. I, I believe it's a comeback. But the hand, <laughs> the hand of uh, USA, I mean, they have a lot of uh, USSR, but that immediately scoring can be... Uh, oh, yeah. Four, four VPs right off the bat. Yeah, um, and with an ass in hand, that, they are basically 100% confirmed. Well, yeah, I would think so. Containment is, is an option. Um, it's, of course, one of the best U.S. headlines as well, but... Yeah, for sure. I, but, think I mean, it, well, with this hand, maybe it's actually worth it because there's so many... Like, for example, you can just fix stress crisis with, uh, with your containment. Uh, it could be... Uh, it would actually right. help you out a lot. Yeah, it would be a five op. It would be a five op containment. It would be okay. Yeah, but I don't know. The BPs are, are BPs, you know. Yeah. All right. Standard setup from John. Yeah, he's not gonna do the the Finland opening. Yeah. No. No Finland maneuvers here. Uh, <laughs> and extra two influence. Standard yeah. Italy and Iran. Nothing surprising. Just. What we all expected. Yeah, standard setups going against each other. Uh, Middle East in this case is a confirmed four VPs because he holds Nasser in hand as well. Yeah, so he's going for the for the VPs. Makes sense. Nothing we didn't expect. How do you, what do you think he's going to to be holding? Do you think he's maybe gonna hold containment and play in next turn? Uh, it would be impressive because he is somewhat short of ops. So if he can pull it off, it'd be nice. Well, like Nasser is free, right? Because you already scored Middle East. So I would, I would hope he will give Nasser the only one that I don't know. Maybe Warsaw Park? No, Warsaw Park. You probably want to give it to, right? Yeah, uh, Continuing would be the best hold card. Uh, the only question is like. If he gets into trouble and he needs the ops, yeah. he might be forced to play That's it. True. Uh, let's see how things go. Okay. So Vietnam Revolts is a very strong headline for John. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, the access now, um, I, oof, that Asia is going to be tough for, for Michael. Yeah, we get the Gaul leads France for influence. Okay, so then we can assume that uh, he doesn't have Europe, right, in hand. Europe scoring. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he would have played for. Likely, yeah. If he had Europe scoring in hand, De Gaulle might have been a possible headline. You never know, though. He could have both Asia and Europe, and he just chose to uh, pursue to go for Asia. Asia because it's probably easier. Yeah. Okay, now... Already taking advantage of the Vietnam bonus by playing four. Yeah. What do you What do you think is gonna be Michael? Okay, I don't think he has a lot of fighting chance there. I think maybe he has to go for you for Europe, knowing that uh, the goal is not on the it's on the discard right now. Maybe he can right. tie it up with Europe, you know. I would see maybe even two into Pakistan. Yeah. Okay. Because the there. coup and counter coup still favors him. Well, yeah, but that China guy is a good with a five, right? Hey, but I mean, if, if you're you gonna lose China Asia, guy, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna lose Asia anyways, you might as well force him to give you the China card. Let's see uh let's see what he responds with. It's tough. Uh, also yeah. like uh, by taking 
I mean, the problem is he doesn't have a Korea War, right? He has Korea War, I would have taken Korea. Right, he cannot play into... Well, he could play into Korea, but it's a pretty big... Uh, yeah, pretty he, big risk, so... I mean, uh, he's in a pretty desperate position right now, right? So, I mean, he has to take Korea or India if you want to tie it up. Well, Pakistan and India both will do it, combined with Japan. Yeah. Like, he needs one or the other. That, that's what I'm saying. So right. So, we'll see. If, if he takes out Korea, he's forced to take India. Yeah. So, he goes one to Malaysia and one to South Korea. Yeah. So, I would hazard a guess that John perhaps holds defectors, which is why he headlined Vietnam Revolts. And he might also not have Korean War. Because if he had it, I don't think he would be so quick to play into South Korea. But let's see. So now he's got a few issues to take care of. He's got Nasser to deal with. Uh, he's got the Suez crisis. He's got to get adjacency to Israel before he plays that. Do you think he can... He could use the ops to, to fix all these problems like i think he has to give up fidel just given the access and that's it because if he does if he tries to uh fix fidel like realigning or whatever he is 100 yeah. percent gonna lose asia like he i has don't to think try he to would realign out. yeah i don't think he would realign with fidel i could see him spacing it perhaps even right now uh first space is uh crucial Get those two VPs, get your start on the space race. And I don't... Suez would be the only other card that he could consider spacing. That is true. That is 100% true. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if, I were, if I was under containment, I wouldn't think of it. I just would space Fidel and, and fix Suez. But since he's going to be removed... I mean, he's only taking three, right? Because it's one Israel, two from UK. So maybe it's right. worth playing you Suez now. And once he takes things off, maybe he can just take France. And as long as he does, he has adjacency to Israel, right? He has to do that before. Mm -hmm. So he gives up Warsaw. Is he going to take... Okay. Oh, he, he's... he takes South Korea. Yeah. That's balls, okay? That's a That's... bold. <laughs> he's saying, he okay, have... if you have Korea War... Go ahead, man. Take your 50-50. Yeah. But I think he might may have figured that since that one into North, that one into South Korea that uh that was played, hmm. it does signal a bit that um he does not have Korean War because if you have it, then you're not too worried about moving in there and you're trying to get into India and Pakistan. Yeah, we don't see Korean War, so I think he, I think that might be a good move by uh, by Michael. Let's see. I, I like it. I like it. Let's yeah, see. so threatening threatening India now. And Michael will take it. So he's fighting for Asia. He is yeah. not, he's not letting go. Up. That's why he's a high-rating player. And I'm not. I would have given up. I just go for Europe. <laughs> yeah. So now, nice thing for... Um, the nice thing for, uh, for John is that even though he might be down in Battlegrounds 4-2... to two, oh. oh, my God. One on the oh, Italy coup. That sucks. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. saying nice thing for John is that even though he might be down in battleground, it's gonna be tough for him to get dominated with with all those um with all those Southeast Asia uh non battleground. So yeah. At least he's got that going for him. Yeah, for and, and Southeast Asia is gonna give him like six BPs, right? Two, yeah. three, four, yeah. five, six. Yeah. Six, maybe five if he takes Philippines. If so let's Michael see what we get. Philippines. We might see a Nasser and then a coup of Egypt using the Nasser ops because a five or a six knocks him out. Or we might see space here because no one's spaced yet and it's AR4. <laughs> also, Michael does need mill ops from somewhere because right as it is, he would lose four VPs. Yeah, that is true. Maybe mm -hmm. a three, a three. Well, like Swiss crisis is gonna be really painful if he wants to get a coup, and there is no real good coup to get. Yeah, there's no target, which is why I'm thinking Nasser might be the option. Play into Nasser and then coup with the one up. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that's something. I mean, if you rule a six, 
He works. Five right? or six. Yeah, five or six UMT amount. Okay, we're getting a coup of Iraq. Oh, or Thailand. Oh, okay. That's enough. That, that fixed the that fixed the ops. Like, like we thought he was not gonna fix it out. There's no way he doesn't have the ops to do that. Yeah, he'll deal with it later as it comes. Okay, okay getting rid of yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's that a very that nice. Force, yeah, that force is sand. Okay, so yeah. now we know he has special relationship and he has uh UN intervention. That's a very nice hold card if he manages. Yeah. If he does hold UN intervention, which I think he will. I mean, space relationship probably will go to space, maybe. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's just one up right now. I don't know if right. he wants to give it or not. Perhaps it could be pace, a space, perhaps it could be used for the two. Uh, let's see. I think he has I the mean, options. It's, it's two ups for you, one for the opponent, so you still have a plus one. It's not, it's not terrible. Right. Especially if he doesn't have aspirations in Europe, which he probably does, taking into account that he just lost Asia. Right. So he's cooling and locking him out of any possibility of another Iran coup. Six? Or no. Iran. Oh. No, it doesn't work. It's a move to lower DEFCON. That makes sense. Michael also, he needs to shore up Italy because right now socialist governments could uh, could take it out through the headline AR1 combo. That is true. Um, and yeah, that, he doesn't still... even need the coup, he could just flip it. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we see Middle East presence taken in Lebanon. Uh, Independent Reds is already out of the game. So Romanian abdication would be there for good. Yep. That's that's something I, I normally try to uh, play Romanian abdication as soon as possible. Just so you can you have a target for Independent Reds in case in, in that he has to play it, right? Yep. Might as well take it, and then later on, sometimes you get Truman, and you know you get a free, uh, free one VP every time Europe is scored. Yep. With that efficiency, so if you see, let's go to space and a fail. Uh, so let's see if he returns with the space. I would even almost consider, like, if I were John, I would consider playing into West Germany or Italy. Yeah. You get adjacent to the fans. Okay. Create that problem for him. Well, you what you do here? You go for France, right? Yeah. And now it's your turn. You want to fix, so you want to. I would play Romanian into yeah. France. Oh, okay. So then, too. so then you you lose the ability for him to flip the battleground in one turn. You know, De Gaulle and Suez are both out in the discard. And you also know that Truman is still hanging around somewhere. But so you still I have like... socialist government. So you could just remove two from France and on the first AR take three. Okay, so he goes West Germany. I think the reason for that is because otherwise he was getting dominated. Yeah. A, good, a, nice, a nice headline would do it, right? Okay, so we have Korea War blockade. So let's see if this time the US player doesn't make the mistake. So he needs mm -hmm. another three, another three card if he wants to discard. He doesn't have this stall, so he's gonna have to discard one of his cards if he wanna get rid of blockade forever. I would think blockade is a hold card here. Looking at the hand. Look at uh, looking at discarding next turn with another three. Yeah, I can't see him giving up NORAD or five year plan because he has a really strong hand here. Lots yeah. of ops. Okay, we going, we going for Marshall plan. That's perfect yes. counter for the, his socialist governments. It is good timing. Um, yeah. However, he can still force France. Um, yeah, that is true. Yeah, and which I think he will for sure. That's a pro. That's one of the problems for the USA on the early war is there is no really a coupable thing, because yeah, the the, the USSR always can coup uh, Iran, always can coup Italy, but your coups are. Cuba, if that is on, Iraq, North Korea, and it's like, man, just give me something I can kill, okay? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Nasser will come out early, and then you'll have a target, but um, he's chosen to hold it so far, so. 
and Comic Con to take France for domination at the moment. Where did Michael Marshall? Greece and Turkey are still empty. Yeah, that is yeah, that's interesting. He went for uh, Spain, Italy, France, Canada, Spain. Yeah, I think there might be one in Finland that we can't see. Hmm. Because uh, Canada, UK, West Germany, France. Oh, or there might have been a removal from socialist governments of a. Uh, of one in Greece. I think that's yeah. possible as well. Yeah. Yeah, because he didn't take anything from uh, West Germany or... Yeah, I think that's what happened. He took two from France and then one from uh, one from Greece. And so now, does he take the coup? Does he play into Spain and Greece, maybe? Try to prevent the domination? Yeah, he has to, right? He has to really I think, take I think he, he has... fights for it. I think he takes Greece and Spain. There is no real coup. I think he can just give up Panama or whatever he, whatever the US are coups, but he has to prevent those five BPs if he wants to. Yeah, Actually, would knows. you consider taking into account that Canada, it's almost feel, filling that up and then Nora next uh, at the end of the turn? Uh, I don't think Michael would do it because Nora, I mean, it's turn, it would start on turn three and you don't know, Quagmire could come out turn four and kill you right away right so no, you can get quimer in your hand right that's the that's, that's the true. dream yeah you know, I, i've i'm always i don't like it. i don't like to play nora i like to mm. force the us the us start to get rid of it but the very the only time that i actually played it it did uh, it turned out very well for me yeah nora it always seems like a card that works really well for your opponent, but you can never really get yeah, the scenes. Exactly. You know, get it yeah. going properly. Yeah. Like he could play it this turn and yes yeah, on turn four he he gets a headline quagmire. Okay, he's looking at the discard now. Yeah. The French cards are out. He does have yeah. a future chance maybe somewhere down the line to uh to real to realign uh Realign France because he's gonna have a plus yeah. plus three modifier there. Well, but he uh, the the USRT will have access with uh, West Germany, so it, it's hard for him right now to get back in Europe. Maybe with um, tear down this wall. Yeah, tear down this wall. Uh, like you know, way down. For, yeah. yeah, way down the line. I'm thinking about like war opportunities here. I don't know what he's thinking about Maybe here. I would think if, he, if he gets Truman on turn three, I mean, if he doesn't right. see Truman from his opponent, he can slam he can a set four up a combo. Card. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have a four up card, but maybe a, maybe a three, get two ups there. That probably would, be, would do it. Yeah, he's Wait, going. We'll he might, he might drop one into Costa Rica. Yes. Okay, he's prepared, uh, anticipating the coup. And then Greece, I would think. So you get access to Turkey and... Uh, yeah, in case that he takes Greece, you can always take Turkey. He cannot take both. Well, he can't He can't take Greece right now. He can only take Turkey. He doesn't have uh, access to Greece. Oh, that is true. He doesn't have Yugoslavia. Yeah, yeah nice spot in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Threatening Algeria as well. That's a uh, that's surprising. I would I would hope that he would raise the count. But yeah, as you no, said, he got. I really like. Take Turkey. Yeah, I really like that move actually, because now if he coos, I mean you can take Algeria, right? So. Well, also, he might, is, yeah. It's not gonna be scored until turn four, the earliest, right? It's still an important country in Africa because it's a five. Also, he might be anticipating a uh, decal because he hasn't seen decal in his own hand yet. No, that's true. This stall could be could be there too. Yeah, if these stalls there, um, that would suck for. Well, if, uh, if he has both, he's had every single access card in early war. That is yeah. insane for the Soviets. Okay, we do he's see gonna a give that. of Iran and. Okay. 
Only a two. So a one and a two on the two coups so far. OP Soviets. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, I think John is doing the right thing by not fighting for uh, domination um, in Europe because he knows that he's he's going to lose it to Canada and Greece even if he does take Turkey. I think he has to settle for a, a plus one score there or a minus one score. It's a plus one. I mean, minus one for Michael, or, right? Yeah, minus one for Michael. But uh, yeah, I don't think John can realistically think of getting domination. Yeah, it would, John, it would require the same amount of ops, yeah. and probably if he have four in, a four in the hand. He could uh, uh, take Romania and Turkey, but Michael could answer with Greece, Greece and Canada. And Canada. Then he has an advantage on on Austria, but basically he's counting that Michael doesn't have a three out to take Benelux or Denmark. Well, even if Austria, Romania, and Turkey against Greece and Canada, it's still even uh, six six. So yeah, but Austria is only two up, so it's uh, and I think Finland will be three. If he, yeah, Finland will be three. Yeah. I think we might see D color. D there yeah. we go. Here it yeah. is. Okay. He's like okay, he's he's giving up on the on the dream, the pipe dream of dominating Europe. Yeah. No he most goes, USSR players are happy, especially after Marshall Plan has come out, you're just yeah. happy to uh to grab France and call it a day. Yeah, absolutely. Zaire, Venezuela, Chile and Libya. That is decent, I would say. Yeah, some problems now for uh, for Michael on how to respond here. Okay, that's you want to go Middle, for Egypt to keep Middle his East, domination there? Yeah, Middle East is being threatened as well. However, he has Nasser in hand, so Nasser, he knows if so he goes two into Egypt, he's losing that right away. Yeah, he might want he might want to just give up that one and focus on all the area of the map. Hmm. I mean. I could see some realignments here to get him out of South America because right now you don't have a chance to get in there. Yeah, duck and cover for realignments is uh might not be a bad move for Venezuela and Chile. Hope to get lucky and knock him out. The other answer that I can think of is, I mean, you can just flip uh, Sair, but that is not a long-term solution since there are many turns to go and you're going to get killed in Africa every single one yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's efficient for the U.S. to do it this early. We, uh, Michael probably wants to play the Indo pack for for the event, right? Get those ops. Yeah, get the two VPs from the mill ops and another chance at two VPs, fifty fifty chance. So definitely, I would say he has to give Nasser this turn. So the yeah. Middle East yeah. is probably gone for now. He has to give Nasser, or he has to give a. Uh, West Germany, and he's definitely not giving away uh, an empty blockade here. But I think he's going to wait until his last AR to play it. No, oh, he's going now. Oh, I was, I, was, I was saying Nasser, he would wait until his oh, last Nasser, AR. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. You don't want to let him know, right? Oh, very nice. That's four VPs yeah. right there. I think it's been a very good start for Michael overall. However, d style makes this a very close game, I think, going into the mid-war. d call in hand, probably? Or do you think he is still on the deck? I think d call still on the deck. Uh, if d call was out, I think we would have seen it before um, before, the stall. before d style, and I would have yeah. seen, we would have seen it to Zaire and Nigeria. Yeah, I agree. I agree, because yeah. we would have seen the d style going all to South America. Yeah. Okay, okay, and he gets you an intervention and a four up. Yeah, solid move. He's oh, man. inching towards uh, dominating Middle East, which, as he should be, over controlling France to protect from Truman and then spreading to uh, reduce any risk of realignments. Very yeah. good use of a four up guard. Yeah, John Seals showing a very uh, consistent level of play, very high level of play. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're both really strong players, and then um, likely we'll both see them. We'll see them both in the playoffs. How is John Shield doing? He's the in the UK uh, division. John Shield has slipped a bit. He's still in the playoff spot at eleven and five, and 
theoretically is still in play for the division, although it might be a bit difficult. Um, Michael Patnick also recently lost a game and also slipped to second at 13 and two. Hmm. Yeah. However, he does have a, he holds a tiebreaker over Anthony Russell. And so he controls his own destiny with five games left. If he wins all five, um, that's his for the taking. So Nasser AR five. We place an influence here. Okay. Jordan it is. And so he's leaving his three up for uh for AR seven. <clears throat> Might see one into or AR six, sorry. Might see one into uh Colombia to threaten Venezuela. Or yeah. might see all three into Saudi. Yeah. I don't think we see Saudi just because it doesn't impact the domination. He would yeah. still be down uh three I, to two. I mean, with six ops he could potentially just tie there but with muslim revolution i don't know yeah. if it's worth it it's not even muslim revolution also it's arab israeli war if he takes israel right now that's true mm -hmm. uh, it'd be it'd be at 33 percent if he also takes jordan but still yeah a lot of israeli hasn't come out yet right so it's gonna come yeah. next turn. you don't yeah. want to never want to tempt fate yeah absolutely this game if you can avoid uh rolling the dice i mean that's yeah. probably the best play. Another four up. Strong hand from John. Yeah. How's so been the four up distribution? Pakistan. So, uh, RSP hasn't come out yet, right? Yeah, it's been Marshall against uh, Nuclear Test Ban and US Japan. Yeah, so he, yeah, Nuclear Test Ban, exactly. It's a 2 1. That's what I was counting. Yeah, Sahara yes. State. Colombia is no it's not worth it anymore. Not worth it anymore because he smartly uh took it over picked Pakistan, yep. For the China flip. Maybe one into Algeria, I would think. I mean he's probably gonna coup uh, Angola, so yeah, probably. Or even uh even Nicaragua is an option maybe. Nicaragua? To yeah, threaten the realignment in yeah, threaten the realignment. Okay, he's thinking it. <laughs> it's not as easy, I guess. Okay. Go again. Oh, okay. uh -huh. he's double tapping North Korea. Okay. But unfortunately, he does not draw a four off, so you know that his opponent has RSP as well as NATO. Yeah. Oh boy. The good news is he does get Korean War back. And oh, he, and he's gonna get NATO, right? So now, um, special relationship is gonna be completely unplayable. Right. Well, this is a very tough hand overall for uh for Michael because he still has blockade. If he discards De Gaulle to blockade, that means he has to play either De Gaulle. De Gaulle or sorry, De Gaulle to blockade, then he has to play De Gaulle or Korean. It's uh it's not a fun situation. He can keep holding blockade, I guess. Uh, he can't, because then what would he play here? He play everything else, right? He play but oh I mean yeah, he has De to Gaulle, play De Gaulle to space and, and And then Korean he would have to event. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. There is no there's no play around that you cannot Yeah. I think he'll have to take the 50-50 on Korean. However, it's not the worst thing in the world because he also drew Asia scoring, so you can just do it after the scoring card. But yeah. down the line, it'll hurt. Yeah. That's going to be 5-6 PPs going to the going to the Soviets for two more. Well, once... No, it's only one... Yeah, two more, right? One on the late war and one on final scoring if we get there. Yeah. But then, I mean, there are always other factors. You know, Soviets shoot down Kallus in the deck. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. If we get there. If we get there. Well, I mean, uh, Michael's doing well on the track. I mean, he's going to be plus seven with uh, with the CNS play. So Yeah, I mean, he's, a, he's in a really precarious situation on the board. But despite that, he's, he's still up. So that's what matters. Yeah, 
and you can always i mean the us with grain sales voa yeah they have all- very a lot of chances to flip the board for that is for sure okay we see a cambridge five uh so we might see yeah i think we're going to see a push for uh for domination here yeah if you play gonna- one into pakistan you can repair north korea and flip pakistan with the china card in one go oh boy so maybe Michael regretting not uh not overprotecting Protecting. Pakistan on his yeah. AR six. He went for the for the aggressive move and Yeah. I think we might see China here. Yeah. yeah. Flip Pakistan and repair North Korea and that gives you uh domination. Now force the same to play into um into Japan just to tie it up. Yeah, so it's yeah. So it's not a great situation because he can take Japan, sure, to tie it up. But then he could be holding U.S. Japan and U.S. Japan becomes a free card for the USSR then. Yeah, absolutely. Happened to me many times. <laughs> They're forcing to play into Japan and they, oh, look at this four up card that I had in hand. Not for free. <laughs> uh, uh, he's against a wall in Asia right now. I think he might uh, say screw it for now and take the coup for sure. Maybe Truman to Zaire. Yeah, I agree. You have to, yeah. There he goes. Getting the ops. If he just had a two op oh. car, that is not complete garbage. <laughs> yeah, and he rolls the one on the coup too. So it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But, I mean, yeah, there have been low rolls on both sides. Yeah, yeah, two would have given it to him. Uh, two, two would have given him, kick, kick him out, and he would have been able to take it. Oh, boy. Oh. There we go. Oh. oh. One short. Jesus. Why do these guys do this to me? He's taking Japan. Okay. He's, uh, yeah, he doesn't he's want to give chances. up. He doesn't want to give up five VPs in Asia. I mean, that makes sense. Five VPs is, you know... A decent amount, taking into account that his lead is only seven. Now, John has two four up cards. John might not know it, but he can force uh, domination here by just breaking control. Yeah, that is true. Not only that, but like, I mean, his hand is so com- so complicated that anything that if John just forces anything in Asia. Amy, everything might fall apart for for Michael in that right. region, because if he plays it, Korea War, I mean, he could be unlucky on that thirty three percent, and then he has sealed his fate in Asia. Yeah. Well, one option now, although sorry, I didn't notice this before, is if he spaces decal and succeeds, he can still space Korean War because he'll be able to space a uh, two per turn. Oh, that's so true. that would be that would be very nice for uh, if Michael can grab that. So you're gonna go for it? Try to get the double spacing. Yeah, double spacing is so powerful. You can um, basically I mean, there's no I, such thing as a problem hand anymore. Well, we were talking. It's it still it still holds. Like if he goes for tapping either India or uh, South Korea, right? Yes, and, uh, he's pretty screwed. Yeah, he he double space. Okay, he gets rid of the cards, but there he also loses Asia. So he could respond once with the gall. That is true. Gaul is essentially a free card. Okay, so I don't think we're going to see it because I see a three up. Oh. We see the tapping. And a protection of Venezuela by Voice of America. So, yeah, you might be wondering why you go 3 1 instead of 2 2. 3 1's better because VOA is. Uh, you can protect against Voice of America and get completely knocked out of the region. That is true. Well, you would only, only get knocked out of the, of the top, right? Because he has Argentina as well? No, no, no. no. Right. I don't know if he has Argentina. I don't think we've seen it. No, he doesn't have Argentina. He does not have Argentina, as far as I recall. So he has the three ops in yeah. that he had. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. VOA I want... at the beginning of turn mm-hmm. four, we just kick him out of there. So Venezuela is the best for that. And also give that sweet BB for OPEC, so you can complain. Yeah. I wonder where we see uh, where we see the Gaul influence go. Because he cannot, he cannot force. Uh, he cannot overprotect everything. He can go Japan, India, South Korea, but then like he has to leave one battleground um, vulnerable. 
I don't think he can fight on the counts, right? Like he's behind. Country count, no, no. In, in Afghanistan, he's behind in Burma. Okay, he's going. He's just mm, keeping up on that, fighting. I guess. He might over. He might protect Japan, maybe just to see him hope that he knocks it off. Hmm. Yeah, but also Michael also knows that um, John is holding Red Scare and NATO. Yep. Not only that, but like he knows that he has the goal in hand and blockade, right? Yep. And decal. And, the, and yeah. He knows decal and he knows blockade. He doesn't know. Oh, he knows Korea War too. Yeah, Korea War hasn't has the. No, it did. He already he already spaced it once. Okay, so then he knows he has the and blockade. Yeah, but still, he knows that he has a uh, out of the out of the five uh, cards. He knows that he has um, he has two for sure, right? And Asia scoring as well, Asia which has scoring, not come out. Asia hasn't scored, then yeah, then and um, he probably make make the math. These guys are pros, so these guys are tracking every single card. He probably has to read that his hand is very very complex, very complicated, and he might have the chance there yeah where do you go right now he went japan saharan and where did the third op go uh canada right to activate norad yeah well he got it played either way yeah. he got it played there by, we go. Uh, with the SAR, so we get some norad Okay, let me. i'm gonna write down this because i want to ask uh john at the end if it's possible about the yeah, this, turn, sure. this turn three. Okay, nice. got it down. It's a good move by Michael because he knows he can still seed Asia, but the payoff is that he gets Nigeria out of it. So yeah, you always have to. That's that's good to have a struggle, right? Like yeah. even though you are against the wall, you have to threaten some other area so you can get something out of it not just give up in the region yep okay arab israeli we knew that this was coming oh he yeah. gives up asia no way okay i mean <clears throat> we thought he had the read right but maybe he doesn't yeah I think uh, Michael will very happily play. Oh yeah, point. Michael is gonna is gonna drop that car faster than the speed of light. Asia scoring, or he could take Nigeria first, but then you're kind of oh no, he doesn't even have any cards to take it unless he wants to event Korean War. Yeah, Asian sc Asia scoring goes for even, and now we're gonna see decal spaced, and Michael's hoping he can get Korean to space too. Given this situation, I would probably just... I don't know if I'll take my chances. I'll probably space it too. I know it's a really crappy AR6, but... Pff. Okay, oh, Europe's, Europe's scoring. scoring. Okay, so the two biggest regions in early war are done. So we probably yeah, won't Middle see... East, Middle East is left. We probably won't see many action in those regions until very, very late in the game. Probably, yeah. Okay, we see the AR6. You know what car is in uh, John Shield's hand? Red Scare and NATO. Two four ups, That's I think. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those two haven't come out, so he yeah. has to have them. And third one, uh, I'm not 100% sure on the third one. I think he's hold I think he's going to hold Red Scare and. Oh, Containment. Oh, Containment. Okay. So he holds two four ops. Oh, he could he could just use blockade now with to discard Korea War, right? Yes, he can. So and he gets a tap. So this is this is very clutch for Michael. Yeah, that is very well timed. And he can take Algeria, Algeria and Nigeria. Yeah. Or not Nigeria. Nicaragua. Yeah, always creating the threat. Yeah. But not only that, like Nigeria it would be a bad move because you basically give him another coup target and yeah. 
you can right now he's never gonna coup on the first AR on Saharan states because that means giving you the coup. So that's basically for free. Okay, what's the headline here? Do we bear trap? Do we sad sadat? Colonial Riyadh. He has to choose, man. He has a pretty yeah. decent hand this time. He cannot complain. I don't think you said that. I think you bear trap maybe, because Sadat you can just get counter coup. You know what? I'm actually gonna complain. I think as a US, this hand is so good that you're gonna space anything. <laughs> so yeah. I'm I'm gonna complain yeah. on it like right now. <clears throat> you can also how I learned to stop worrying and drop the DEFCON. Man, I, I honestly I'm just playing around. I think Bear Trap is the best, but that just gives yeah. you a cool. You're right. Theoretically, how I learned could. Uh... I mean, it depends what you want to hold. If you want to. Yeah. I mean, you could hold how I learn and just prevent him next turn. It's such a flexible hand. Yeah. He basically can do anything he wants because yeah. he got. I mean, but we also know that. Um, <clears throat> John Shields has both NATO and RSP. So maybe we'll see an RSP headline here. Yeah, it would be a strong possibility unless he draws something else that really catches his eye. Oh, we will bury you. Bury you. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a great headline against Bear Trap. Yeah. I mean, he kind of peaked, so that was... <laughs> you sure you I have to delay on that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ha I'm 100% sure, but holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. No, well done by John. Yeah. Is because that... otherwise, uh, what Africa would have been a big problem. What do you think about that play? I know it's 3 VPs, but... Okay, the fact that it goes out. Oh, that hurts. So now a lot of options. He could even play how I learned to stop worrying. And then Raise he could the realign devil. France. Yeah. He could coup Zaire. He could coup Brazil. Hmm. That's interesting. There is six influence that you have to get out of France. That probably requires more than one. Even though you have a plus four. That's true. I think we might see how I learned to... I don't know. We could see Colonel Rear Guards. Oh, yeah. No, oh, we're seeing here we go. It. He's going yeah. for it. I think we might just see it bump up to three. Oh, all the now, way to five. All the way up to five. Now he's going to get some realignments going. So is he going to realign France? Maybe he just want to get a, a, a cascade of coups, hoping that he's going to get trapped there for long. I don't know. That's, yeah, that's I, true. I, honestly, I think France is probably the most likely. It's a, it's the one that makes sense. Everything else is rolling the dice. Oh, oh my god! Here we go. The turnaround. <laughs> Just one bird trap away. And look what he's discarding as well. He's discarding defectors and special relationship. Like these aren't the worst cards in the world to. Uh, yeah, I mean defectors. <sighs> down five in one roll. Okay. Oh, tries to go for Pakistan. He's getting greedy. No, I mean, he's at plus one, so I understand yeah. it. You might see a roll in Cuba. No, still Pakistan. Oh, okay. they're slowly chipping him down. Yeah, but it's interesting. Kind of flip, if he would have taken to two, I would have considered. Oh my god, oh my god, he gets another roll. What? Does he have to take uh, France here? I, I don't know. Do you, he, would have do to, you, he would have to use the China card. Uh, I'm, I'm biting my nails, man. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you do here? Like, do you, you hope that he fails again? I would start, I would start cooing if I were, if I were, uh, Michael. Yeah, here we yeah. go. Okay, okay. That year. Okay, let's, let's do it. Oh, uh, boy, these year. coups today, oh. what's going on? Oh, yeah. I know, I know what's going on. Farmers is not supporting the coups anymore. <laughs> Another failure! <laughs> <laughs> this is getting hilarious now. That's four failures in a row. Uh, he gets for, another uh, chance, I guess. For USSR, wow. Another coup in Sair. He's gonna get so all the has, coups, right? Because he, he, has, coups he has now. Two, he, has two, he has two coups here. He can coup down to DEFCON 2, no problem. Oh my god. Maybe he actually go he could get a big coup in Brazil, maybe. And then I think he would. I think the situation you try China card and you try cooing Argentina or Brazil. Yeah, just to get that, you get your foot. Uh, you gotta get a foothold, yeah. Oh my god. Thailand! 
No, that doesn't make no, a lot Thailand's of sense. Risky. I mean, I know Southeast Asia is in the deck, but and Asia is going to come back, obviously, but it's so susceptible to brush war. Yeah, and he's surrounded, and and it's not even good good odds, you know. Mm-hmm. You, you need the odds I mean, are fifty fifty. Mean, yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, success on Brazil. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it would be a seven. You're going with a with a. You need a three or better, yeah, to get in oh, to get one has in. To discard. He has to discard NATO to the bear trap, and finally I mean, he succeeds. I don't know if he. W- I mean, with if the relationship gone, it would be a no-brainer to play it, right? Yeah, but I mean, to discard a four yeah. up is. Yeah, that's tough. He has. Okay, so we drop everything. Do we all that? <laughs> <laughs> what a hand! And at the end of all that, he still gets uh, he still gets Norad. Yeah. Just to put the the nail on the coffin. Yeah, salt in the wound. I think he might take Panama, Panama. or might break Korea. Yeah, oh, breaks. Korea. Okay. He's creating even more problems for. No, that that bear trap was painful to watch. Yeah, man. Four full, no five, right? Uh, f- five rounds spent discarding, yeah. Oh my god, five rounds. I mean, that can definitely turn around a game. We see almost control in Africa. He's basically... He's going to have to coup in Saharan states to get something there. There we go. He takes it. That makes sense. But he can coup back now. Or he can just rear guards. Yeah, rear rear guards. Rear guards. And then oh. hope that he doesn't have a three. Still has sad. Still has our man in Tehran would be a good uh, event, I think, because you can search for Middle East and uh, South America. Yep. Maybe a splash into Southeast Asia, Laos, Indonesia, Thailand, or does he stay focused on Africa? Uh, I would, I would try maybe a couple just to force him to fix it and make him waste another turn. Right. Now he's he's going for the domination in Asia, in in Africa. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no, but he's gonna. I mean, he's gonna give up five BPs there in Southeast Asia. I mean, if you have to, you have to. Right? You can't can't take down everything. Okay, no, he does. He, he does grab loud. Yeah. Yeah. That's decent because I mean that's believable. No, yeah, he takes again. it back. Okay. So all in Africa. Oh, what? I don't know. I'm I, not even gonna say anything until he until he punches it in. I, I, I <clears throat> sorry, I don't understand the, the South Africa. Why? I mean, I know you wanna take it, but you you can take it with two ups, and he doesn't have access. That's true. I think it's just inching closer to uh to control. Now you only need one op to control it instead of uh. Instead of two. Africa's four. He's making the bet. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's yeah. what he, he was thinking. Maybe he has it. A gamble by Michael that did not work out. Okay, he can flip now. Lost Cambodia. and He's uh, protecting Oh, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's, he's going for France. I, I completely forgot about that part. Or is he? He could also go two into North Korea. Okay, threatens Argentina. Yeah, that's that's what we were talking before. Like you has already been scored, and probably you have more pressing issues than taking France that might be scored yeah. in three turns. So he grabs Southeast Asia. He got grain uh, sales. Grain sales to Soviet is an instant headline here. I cannot imagine him doing anything else. Yeah, I mean. Uh, no, nah, not really. Like, I think probably Grain Cells is like way too good. He way was probably good. wants to coup Argentina, trying to get that second battleground there. I could coup Argentina. He could, uh, yeah, I think it would be in the Middle East. Or, sorry, in uh, South America. It depends on what he draws to. Whether he, does he draw a four up card? Does he draw a scoring card? You never know. We're probably going to see OPEC to space. And the rest is gonna be played. Maybe hold uh, OAS. Maybe. Oh, we might we might see a Southeast Asia hold and lose the game immediately. I don't know. Apparently, well, it seems like we were making a mistake. You uh, RSP was apparently played by USSR in turn one. 
Oh, so uh, he... so they, he did not have it. He's not holding it still. <laughs> oh, where is Tweet Chat to tell us that we're wrong? Come on, guys. <laughs> well, there's ten, ten minute delay, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we we definitely said that ten minutes ago. <laughs> these guys have to be in the game. Come on. Yeah. The USSR headline is chosen. You see how much time Michael has spent looking through the discards, looking at what's been played. I mean, it's all so important. It's easy to disregard. You're just in the heat of the moment. Just, you know, go, go, go. But that's a mark of a, of a good player. Yeah, he definitely is taking his sweet time. Like he's, uh, what, 10 minutes? Um, yeah, more than 10 minutes below on the... Yeah. Well, we get Junta. Oh, that's a... It's not the best card to draw. That actually kind of sucks to draw right there, because <laughs> what does he do? If he keeps it, it's a one-op coup in Argentina. If he returns it, it's not much better. It's a two-op coup, so... You always want to keep the card just yeah. to reduce the hand size. Yeah, but that coup with one is probably crappy. Yeah, yeah, he gives it back. But yeah, hoping reducing for... the hand size is normally critical. Yeah, hoping for a high. I guess in this case, since uh, he has a China card, um, he get, he thinks it's not that big of a deal. Now that hurts because. <sighs> Um, John is now set up for control because he can break Brazil um, and use AR1 to uh, to fill it up. And that, you know, the plus eight scoring can swing the game right back. Plus Southeast Asia is also scoring for four right now or five right now for uh, for USSR. Yeah, I think you have to go to Brazil here and realign in uh in realign in Brazil as well at plus one. Yeah, he's going for yeah. it. Oh no, he's real no, oh, cool Colombia. Colombia. Okay, okay, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> I mean you're gonna be able to flip Brazil anyway, right? Yeah. But if if that's you true. if you give a three up card. If you get the realign there and you're unlucky, you're done, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, he probably did the right thing. I was I was getting greedy with the realignment. I mean, real it would be awesome, but sometimes he, they they play against you. Yeah. So AR1, I'm expecting a three op at least to Brazil and Argentina, and uh, claim that up. Yeah, RSP comes out. Oh, France, and okay. he leaves Brazil open. <clears throat> I wonder if that signals Central America scoring that one to Haiti because that gives uh, salt negotiations into Brazil and Panama. I'm actually quite surprised he didn't uh, he didn't take Brazil. Yeah, he took France and what is was he Haiti? Uh, yeah, France and Haiti. That's why I'm thinking maybe Central America scoring. France is a good move. You don't want to give up Europe there. Uh, I like that. Yeah, he would have take. He had one in France, right? So he could have take France yeah. and Brazil. One in France, Brazil, and Argentina. Child diplomacy. What's he thinking about? I think he might be thinking about eventing salt. So this all for what? What if he wants to get on the discard? Not sure. So he plays arms race for the. Of. Uh, for influence, although he could, he did have the option to play for three VPs if he wanted. Yep, to tie the. Well, he had. He still had to take uh, Israel or. 
Oh my god, North Korea is still broken? <laughs> North Korea is still broken, yeah, no one's scared about it since it was broken with NORAD. Let's see what the response is from uh, from John. You see, he played Nora, and now Nora is gonna last all the way to the, the end of the game. You see that. Oh, so you never know. You never know. Quagmire Mike, is still around. <laughs> Michael, Michael will get Quagmire, and then he'll space it on to, on turn seven, and then that's it. No, oh, that would suck for uh for John. Like every single coup will be threatened with some flip somewhere else in the map. Yeah. Brush war for the event in Iran. Wow, that's a very interesting target, but I think it signals Emmy scoring. I mean, he could have gone for if he really has C Central America, he would have gone for Panama, right? Panama is a 60%. <coughs> a that's 60%, true, so, I think so. So then I understand the Heidi move. I guess we'll I'll be able to ask him later. So he has to take Jordan. Uh, in order to at least secure presence. He's not even taking presence. Might be fearing Muslim revolution. What? But even if you fear Muslim revolution, like... I mean, it's a four-off card to remove right, two right. from Jordan. Yeah, it's three, it's three BBs in Jordan, right? You have to take it. Yeah, he has to take it, yeah. And Laos. Man, Michael, he takes back so many of his moves. <laughs> he just leaves us hanging. Like <laughs> we we see the move, try to rationalize it, and then he's like, oh, "Never mind, I'm doing something else." Actually, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think also we might see uh two into Egypt, followed by Fadet to at least flip uh flip Egypt and prevent any hopes of control. I'm still I'm a little surprised at the Iran, to be honest. Because Middle East, I mean, it's basically two VPs, right? Because you're not you're not realistically going for control. But you know, yeah, that is true. There is so many events that the U.S. that affect the that might affect uh, Middle East. You're not gonna hold control there forever. He's going for so it. Yeah, two into Saudi and then Burma and South Korea. So all I think he the, all he has to the do right now is them off to the Southeast Asia scoring. What do you think about this? What about poking um, Egypt and flip it with Sadat next turn? Next year, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I think that's what he should do. Maybe salt to Philippines and Egypt, or he might. I, I still think he might be trying to hold salt for the event. It's a powerful event. I don't you think you're going to give OPEC. Player. Right now it's 6 BPs. Yo, OPEC has to go to space. OPEC's a monster right now. Yeah. Imagine OPEC's... If, imagine if OPEC and Sol negotiation were right now on John Seal's hand. Yeah. Looking for the two VPs. Does not get it. Willie Brandt might go to space as well. Or, or we might see it played. Let's see. Because uh, West Germany is overprotected, so... One off for Atlantic Saudi. Five ops now to uh, to control. Yeah, wow. Willy Brandt goes to space as well. Another failure, unfortunately. I mean, West Germany is overprotected. You have two free ops there. Okay. Middle East comes out for a seven. Whew. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This game wow, is but... going one side to another. Like in yeah, crazy. we had a five-turn bear trap, and we were thinking, wow, the U.S. is you know, completely chilling here. And now, all of a sudden, I mean... That nice coup in yeah. Iran, it's all, all he needed. Okay, let's see how he has found that. He's gonna, he's gonna tap. What is he thinking here? He's just gonna get the he's event. Cool. But then, then you basically give him the chance to, to fix it. If you don't tap first. He's already mm. been scored, so I don't even know if it's worth it. Maybe you wanna do that later. Yeah, he's keeping it in the deck. Okay. Going for the realignment in uh in Cuba. Okay, I guess he wants to take control in Central America so he can offset a little bit the loss in yeah. the Middle East. I, 
Mm-hmm. I would think Mike. Uh, I would think uh, Mexico is a priority for uh, for Michael as well because liberation theology is still in the deck, and that's a free that's a free battleground if yeah. uh, if John can grab it. Okay, so now we are uh, plus zero on Cuba, and with four influencing uh, Nicaragua, I don't think he can he can get counter there, coup, so, Yeah. yeah. Might see a Southeast Asia played. Do you or think he want to get Philippines just yes, for the, I mean, one BP? There's if also another option. Oh, no, he plays he it. just gets rid of it. I was going to say he might be trying to hold it to AR7 and hope for uh, Ask Not. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But thing is, Southeast Asia is a one-time scoring, so it's not that important to... Uh, to discard, I think, because you know it's gonna come back one way or one one way or another. Yeah, and doesn't it doesn't seem likely that you're gonna flip that region. So, mm-hmm. in the best scenario, he could maybe take Thailand with a I don't know. I guess a very very lucky uh, <laughs> brush war. Is that even possible? Is it impossible? No. It's, yeah. It's, it well, be... a coup a coup with the China card. Um, I like it with the China card if the if the Defcon yeah. goes seven to four again. You could use salt negotiations to push up Defcon. But then you're he's looking for a, one. He's looking for a salt target. That's what I think. I think he's gonna AR seven. Yeah, assault I mean, him. it doesn't make sense that he hasn't played the three up yet if he's not yeah. really gonna vent it. That's gonna break Brazil. No, it breaks Panama instead. Over controls France. Overall, a good play. So we might see OAS for the event, or we could see Salt. I think you should try OAS on the on the next um, headline. Try to flip South Salt. Salt comes back for likely. I would think grain sales maybe. Oh, then that might be the play then. Come on, Michael, stop doing this to us. <laughs> Come on, Michael. I don't know, because o- playing OAS is pretty big here, because you can repair Panama, and you can also break perhaps Cuba or Argentina. But at the same time, he's waited all turn, and he's held salt, so you kind of feel like you know he wants to play it now. I mean that's a decent play, but that will be fixed by a coup in Argentina on the on the next turn, and that would give it yeah, domination would... again. Yeah, it does create the problem though, and also it fixes Panama, which is which is also good. You don't want to give up uh, control in uh, Central America. Yeah, that's for sure. liberation theology or something else. Okay, he goes for All that. All right, he does it. He draws Ask Not with Central America. It's always nice. I think you're going... She's probably going for Cuba Missile Crisis and just taking Mexico for the domination in Central America. I think he can, uh, he can look up to a, to a domination in Central America. Yeah. I think it's possible. Usuri, Usuri could be a nice play here. Go North Korea and Thailand. Hmm, that is true. The only problem is turn, he, that doesn't play to six. his immediate need that is Central America. It looks it but looks he could the, always, You can always do it yeah. at the end of the turn. You don't need to do it now. He could always ask not for Central America. Although it would only be a two card ask not. The only cards he would discard are South African and Central America. It's not the best use, but it is a scoring card, so uh, let's see. Or oh. puppet governments. Okay. That is surprising. Uh, what would you think he's thinking? He's thinking here. Uh, not too sure. Perhaps Guatemala. Well, maybe uh, he's thinking about the small countries and just on his first yeah. AR take, takes uh, Mexico. Ooh, ABM treaty. <clears throat> yeah, so I would think Guatemala might be the. Might be the move here. Guatemala, Dominican, and El Salvador maybe try to prevent control that way or domination. Another possibility for ABM is uh, Brazil. He could also go for South America control he go for instead the control. of yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, 
rolls a one. All the coups today have been very low. Most of them. Okay, let's see what he's thinking. I'm surprised that he's entering Mexico. Not surprised Mexico. that Mexico. He's gonna give a coup in Mexico. He, Defcon is three. Yeah, I think he might take that back right now. I mean, we're used, uh, but this time we're used to him doing that. So, well, I guess he's thinking even if you coup it, I'll just realign you out because he took Guatemala as well. Yeah. Well, the realignments have not been working too well, right? He had to like roll four. To get, get him out and not completely out of France, and he couldn't get him out of Pakistan. I mean, yeah, but you it, the odds are still there, right? Because you yeah. can knock him out with a plus one. Let's see. Um, South America is an issue as well if uh, if he makes a coup in Central America, because a four op card could flip South America to even, not even a not even domination. Yeah. Three into Argentina, one into Brazil. So I think if he does coup, it's gonna be in South America. Yeah, he has. Yeah, maybe that's that's Michael Reed. He's like, he wants to go to um, South America. South America, right? So and also the the dilemma between Argentina and Brazil. So Brazil seems logical because higher up. But the problem with letting uh can we see a clue? Here we go for a coup. See what happens. In Mexico. Oh, he goes from Mexico. So So then he has a chance now in Central America. He can actually take Brazil with Nora and or maybe put one in Argentina. Yeah, he can go uh he can go Brazil, Norad, and uh and then just use a three op to take uh to take Argentina. And I think, flip South America to even. Uh, I don't know why he gave that up. I mean... He might... I guess he's suspecting Central America scoring. Well, yeah, but you know that South America is going to come. And, and you're going to give it for even when you have a huge advantage there? Mm-hmm. Let's see. He might have something up his sleeve still, so... What could that be? Junta is gone. Uh... Uh, IBM is gone. Brush War is gone. I guess even a coup in Uruguay would give him the realignment on Brazil at a plus one. So he could be thinking about that. Or not even a coup, just a straight placing influence, three ops in there. So he takes South America and actually on top of that threatens Chile. Yeah. So now, now, it's on, now it's on Michael to do something to, that, to prevent that. Yes, yeah, so let's see what John does. If he has Che here, Che would be a great card. You could uh, coup Guatemala and coup Uruguay at the same time. Che would be really nice here. Yeah, because yeah, that Uruguay is not it's, it's not even filled, so it's a yep. it's a decent coup. And it would threaten Argentina and Brazil at the same time. Or instead of Uruguay, he could go Peru and prevent uh, prevent uh, uh, Michael from realigning a plus one. Kitchen debates. Okay, so he gets domination in. And he has another decent coup in Haiti, so this is looking bad in Central America for Michael. Yeah. So I think we're going to see a realignment in Chile, and then maybe in Mexico anyways, because even at plus zero, it's worth it, because you can knock him out and he has no way to get back in. Yep, that is true. Okay, Chile is out. Nice roll in Chile. Now we go to Mexico. No. Okay. No. Oh, okay. okay. So now he needs three ops to get back into Chile. I don't think uh I don't think John spent three ops here because like, you're just gonna get realigned back out. Yeah, I but think if you, have you to don't give up. then Yeah, oh. he's going back. He's he's uh, trying to make a stance there. Because I mean look at it, it's five BPs, right? Yeah. He, he well doesn't. good thing yeah, good thing for uh 
for Michael is that he has a decently strong hand uh, in terms of ops. Like, he can keep realigning. Yeah, he absolutely can. I think maybe U2 here. Oh, you... hmm. Let's see before U2. Well, that is interesting. I, I would think he would play Miss uh, Suri at the end of the game, at the end of the turn, to get the yeah. to get the mass into Asia. Just as I have six, you know. No, he plays it. Turn. Still think we might see we might see Ask Not Cultural for influence. Wow, that's big because cultural normally uh, that could take the China card right away. The two big events discarded by both sides for ops. I guess that fight is uh, more important. He's not letting go of Mexico. He's, oh my god. He's holding How the... many ops now? And he's going to take Chile again. We already know what he's going to do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to uh, leave for a little bit. I'll be monitoring the stream, but I'm going to be around a work meeting. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'll uh, take right. care of the commentary. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So all on my own, talking to myself. Hello out there. <laughs> all right, we get you an intervention. That's an extra VP from U2 incident being played earlier. And what's the card that's coming along with it? Nixon. And he's going to take Chile again. I think uh, John may have might have uh, South America scoring here. Although it wouldn't make sense given his play earlier uh, by kind of ignoring Brazil and Argentina, but it's a possibility. Michael still has the option to ask not Central America instead of playing it. It would be five VPs. Yeah, I think he's going to do it, yeah. Gets rid of South African as well as Central America. That's got to suck for John. He spent all turn, you know, playing into SCA and then now you see it go away. But And as, in the process, he gave up South America. On the bright side, he did, uh, he can take Uruguay or Kupiru to protect Chile. So let's see. Comic Con and Camp David are the two new cards drawn by uh, by Michael. Nuclear subs goes to space. Interesting. A lot of times at the end of the turn, the USSR will just play that because it's a start event. You don't want to come in back as a headline for the USSR, but. I guess he really doesn't want to want a coup. Coming back for Chile. I've never seen more realignments in Chile. We've got to go one more try. All right, knocks him down too. He has been somewhat unlucky. You'd figure with this many realignments in Mexico as well that he would have emptied him out, emptied him out by now, even at plus zero. But that's the risk that you take with realignment rules, right? They're never a sure thing. Big card, nuclear test man. Breaking Argentina, perhaps. Suspecting SA scoring, but he just plays. What just happened? Camp David? I, I missed that last uh, that last year. I'm not sure where he put the two ops from Camp David. Looking around the board. Huh, not too sure. Regardless, we had to turn seven. And some good headline options. John Paul could uh, bring Paul into 4-1. Salt negotiations. Well, actually, no, it discards empty right now. <laughs> that would be a bad play. Um, 
Panama doesn't really break anything. Actually, not the greatest headline options in the world here for uh, for Michael. John has a headline chosen. I think we might just see John Paul. Even though it doesn't break Poland, uh, you're setting up Solidarity, you're setting up Chern Chernobyl, you're setting up a bunch of solid late war events by playing it. So I would definitely consider it. From John's side, uh, Quagmire. I think it has to be Quagmire. Get rid of Norad. Um, give him the back-to-back -back ARs to start the turn, which, uh, which could flip South America to domination because we also know that he's holding South America. Yeah, we see John Paul and Quagmire. Finally gets rid of Norad after four turns. It wasn't super effective, but it it was fairly it was fairly good for Michael. Now he has guaranteed back to back action rounds. Um likely we will see uh Michael discard Liberation Theology, I would think, first to uh, Quagmire. And he really hopes he doesn't fall into uh, the same type of bear trap that uh, that he put John into. I would think a coup of Brazil or Argentina happens here. It would be the logical play, I think. Unless he's holding something that I don't know about. Um, yeah. He could also just grab two in Paraguay and just play the play the domination right away. That's also an option. And not take any risks because, sure, you'd leave it at DEFCON 3, but you get that South America scoring out guaranteed. And, I mean, he's up plus, he's up seven VPs. Another four VPs would bring it to 11. War Games is coming out next turn. Board's in decent shape. It's not a bad option. But he's taking a sweet time deciding. <laughs> This has been a pretty lengthy game compared to the first two All-Star games. Those were, those were quick breezes compared to this one. This has been a long slog here. And still far from over. We might have four whole turns to go. Still waiting for John. He could flip an Asia battleground. He could... I don't know. If he, has, if he has any scoring card here, he has a lot of options. No, he's taking the coup, and I'm thinking Brazil. Another one. Oh, that's tough. Liberation Theology. It succeeds on the first roll. Um, I think he has to take Argentina here. Play a three op. Because uh, if he takes Brazil, it's the same thing except Argentina. Like, it, he doesn't have to worry about Chile getting realigned anymore, finally. So. Muslim Revolution isn't really a problem for Michael. It takes two out of Jordan. He can place two back in plus another two ops. Um, Portuguese could be annoying, but it's pretty fixable. Um, and arms race is a free three ops. Unlikely that he'll get to use it for the three VPs. He would have to get to five mil ops before before John gets another one. Not many options for salting. I mean, you could grab nuclear test then as a four op, but not too much point in doing that. He's held salt for a long time. I wonder what he's what he's been trying to do. It might he might be trying to salt ABM which he hasn't had the opportunity to do so yet, I believe. Uh, that could be what he's thinking. I think John has to take Argentina here. I don't see any other option for him. Well, what else would you do? Unless he's holding some event that I don't know about. But 
because we know he has South America scoring for sure. And we wait. All right, we see NATO that goes into effect. Special relationship becomes a problem. Also, Italy previously was a brush war target, but it's now safe. But yeah, as expected, takes Argentina, pumps one into Brazil. Um, really, the options for Michael are just to repair and, uh, and grab Uruguay, maybe. He knows he's got the scoring. He could country count him. It's four to three, and he's threatening a he's threatening a realignment of Venezuela. So Michael's not completely dead in the water here, as far as preventing a domination goes. We do see a che almost certainly to Colombia, and a one, <laughs> just like every other coup we've seen today. Oh, I uh, stand mistaken, a six, and he's winning on country count, and it's now threatening Brazil. However. Michael has first shot at realigning Venezuela. Which he almost certainly will do, I think. Might use Latin American or maybe even Willie Brandt. Or Salt, finally. But I feel like he's held it for this long. He's, he's got to play for the event. Uh, realignment and plus one would be uh, optimal. Let's see. What are the other options? You do need to take South America, South uh, South Africa eventually. Um, get that control. Ideally, you also want to grab a couple of non-battlegrounds to prevent any shenanigans with a coup and score real quick. Um, other than that, China card for realignments. Okay. Rolls well on the first one. Goes again. And Mexico. Just leave Mexico alone. It's not. Oh, ah, finally he gets Mexico after God knows how many rolls. And Central America looking nice finally for uh for Michael. Not that nice. It's plus two, but it's decent. So now options for for John. He could repair Venezuela, which I think he should do, and keep the pressure on for the scoring card. I'm trying to think in my head. I can't remember off the top of my head what cards have we have not seen that uh, that John would be holding. Voice of America is one. Uh, fortunately for John, he can space that and get rid of it. Breastness for influence takes Venezuela. Takes all three into Venezuela. So he's forcing Michael to continue with the coups or with the realignments. Yeah, still no salt targets. <laughs> Latin American death squads for realignments. Yeah, uh, John's just hoping for one unlucky roll, or two unlucky rolls in this case, and uh, so that he can take it out. Well done again. The annoying thing for Michael is that he can't even, he can't prevent adjacency. He can't realign Brazil because that's at plus zero, and, you know, he could get a bad roll and and lose Brazil, theoretically, so he's definitely not going to do that. He goes for Cuba, because why not? It's at, uh, it's at plus zero, and there's no harm done, because he doesn't have any influence in the country. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, I, I, I think we're definitely going to see two back into Venezuela. We might even see... I don't know if he has a four-op card. If he has a four-op card, two into Venezuela, and then one into Brazil would be nice. But no, just takes back Venezuela. I mean, I like it. Realignments are unpredictable. Eventually, you figure that he's going to fail. Michael's going to fail. Because Michael really has no other option other than to keep, uh, keep trying. I guess... Uh, and I'm a canal returns. That's a good play. Because now the realignments will... Uh, will be at plus one, although we could see a coup of Colombia, potentially. No, sorry, we wouldn't see that, because then uh, Michael would just take Venezuela, my bad. He has to repair Venezuela and, uh, and do something else as well. Spacing VOA. No, 
Nice. So now he can use salt or Muslim revolution to take Venezuela and, uh, and South America goes for even. Or he could keep realigning. Uh, yeah. Voice of America. Salting for Voice of America would be, a, it would be an okay play. Voice of America is pretty powerful when you don't know it's coming, right? If, uh, if John knows that Michael has it, he can do a lot of things to protect against it. I've seen a coup. Karua. I think that's how you say it. I was saying Nicaragua, but apparently that's wrong. Nicaragua. I mean, not the best odds to succeed. To be honest, I'm not sure why this is happening. Oh, Milops. Never mind, I see it. Yeah. He gets the two Milops. Um, one in West Germany doesn't matter. It's overprotected. And he takes Africa domination. And just needs a one more op in South Africa to get to control. Five-year plan South America. He'd rather have the three ops than the one VP. It's an interesting decision because uh, he could have also just played SA for plus one, held five-year plan for perhaps Africa. So that's a big scoring card that's still to come. But he, he uses the three, three ops now, which is fine. That works. I would think Venezuela, maybe Sudan, grab at least presence in Africa. No, break South Korea. Fairly straightforward repair. I think we might see Muslim Revolution um, and take Jordan and repair South Korea. Or we could see salt. For what? I don't know. But we could see salt. <laughs> Could space Portuguese, I guess, theoretically, but I don't see why he would do that with the open threat of South Korea. Oh. Perhaps I stand corrected. No, I don't. He must be thinking about those two VPs on the space track, because, again, we're at plus eight going into turn eight. You never know. You could, uh, you could get war games. Yeah, he does Muslim Revolution. I would expect him to take Jordan back and uh, repair South Korea. You, you have to keep Jordan here just because of, um, just to keep presence. Presence is worth three in the Middle East, so it's always worth it. Repair South Korea. Nice play by John. Um, preventing any shenanigans in the AR7. A very strong, uh, yeah, pretty strong hand for, uh, uh, for Michael. Grabs Red Scare Purge. Indo Pack War is a good card here. Has a, Two out of six chance of succeeding. Evil Empire for Ops, for Mosin for Ops. Reformer can be discarded to Latin American, theoretically. Central America could be an easy domination with two into Mexico. Yeah, not a bad hand. The only the real threat here is war games. If uh, if John has war games, this could be over very soon because the only way of getting VPs for Michael would be to try to space at a 50-50 chance, indo pack at a 1 out of 3 chance. Evil Empire is a guaranteed 1 VP, but it's only 1. It wouldn't get him over the 6 hump. Central America is also 2 VPs, but again, it would take 2 turns. So, if John could potentially degrade Defcon in the headline and play war games, or Kuwe R1, and then the mind games begin, because then Michael's, does he have it? Does he not have it? Does he have to space immediately? Or play into pack immediately. Uh, we'll see how things play out here. I would expect a Portuguese to go to space for uh, uh, for um, for Michael. <sighs> Strong headline. Decal can finally, finally give uh, give John an in into Africa. It's very rare that you see turn eight and not a single single influence point in Africa, like Portuguese, South African unrest, even just cooing air one, the one stab battlegrounds, but uh, Michael's done a good job of keeping, keeping John busy. Where could he go here? Algeria, Nigeria, 
South Africa, maybe Cameroon, maybe Angola. Yeah, four battlegrounds. Duck and cover, so definitely no war games because he would not give him the three VPs. And we see Nigeria taken. Okay. So. See Latin American, reformer almost certainly being discarded to it. And we see Mexico. Okay. Goes for the Central America domination. He could start cooling Nicaragua and go for the realignment of Cuba and refilling Cuba for the control, but I think that's that's going to be too long of a process for him to realistically pursue here. I think also if John has Africa scoring, it's definitely coming out now. Not much John can do in Central America unless he's got maybe Liberation or ABM. Five ops into Israel is an option if he has a all, oh, but he's uh, he's red scared anyways. So we see Venezuela and over control of Poland. That to me signals a fairly. This is going to be a defensive hand for John and Michael has some opportunities here to wreak havoc while he's red scared. Oh, very nice. Six VP OPEC. That's a monster. So we're at plus nine. War Games remains in play. We could see Portuguese space tier. We could see a play into Cameroon, maybe. Indopac is going to be played for the event sooner or later. Still looking for a salt target, Michael. What's it been now? Four turns holding it? Three turns? Trying to think here. Formosan for the event, playing into Taiwan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's not realistic to grab domination in Asia. Again, just too much work for the payoff. Evil Empire for the event. Yeah, that's a 3 VP play. I didn't catch that. Flower Power was active. You know, you have to play into Pack War. That's minimum 3 VPs. Although. Small chance that it might tip into pack war. Nope. Soviet goes to space. One VP there. Portuguese looking for the two VPs on the space race. He's failed this role like four times now. And back to John. Hard to do much when you're red scared. Um, I mean, China card could take Algeria, but okay, sad it. And he almost certainly plays back into Egypt, I think. Yeah. And uh, I would think that, uh, yeah, re respond with Formosan. Well, one way or another, we finally have to see Salt played because of the discard to Latin America. And so I'll be curious whether to see it for three ops or for something back. Takes Egypt. So Middle East is looking okay. And so I believe it's plus five. Overall, the board is uh, it's somewhat even, although, yeah, the board is fairly even, I would say. Two regions to two regions. I think uh, as soon as he gets a chance, John should realign Brazil. You already have the influence in there, so uh, you could take control. Before, before Michael decides to start realigning Venezuela, I mean, I know South America has already been scored, but, I mean final scoring, this game has a good chance to get to final scoring. John could also be looking at a coup here. He needs Milops. Perhaps the Haran States, hoping for a future realignment of uh, of Algeria. He could, he could also just really be screwed here um, because of RSP. He could be holding like CIA and grain sales and this could be GG's here for all we know. No, CIA is out of the deck. Could be grain sales and is there two DEFCON suicide cards for him? 
Although I think that might be in the discard. Yeah, deck and cover in the discard. It played this turn actually by him. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there are a couple other cards I'm missing that are suicide cards for him. Star Wars. Yeah, if he has Star Wars and Green Seals here, he's uh, he's done for. Let's see what he chooses to do. Yeah, cause he, okay. Plays Asuri, gives him the China card. Oh, he's not done for. He has the China card. My bad. Okay, so he definitely does not losing on Defcon because he would have just played the China card and played Asuri after. All right, so just I was talking for five minutes about nothing. Uh, disregard me. That's why I need Pedro. Uh, no pack for the event. Grab your Milops. Hope to flip Pakistan. Oh, success! So now Asia domination is uh, is on the table. With Philippines, maybe a flip in Afghanistan. Nice. VPs are still at seven, so just on that border for war games is John. And finally, we're going to see Salt. <laughs> I guess now. Oh, nuclear subs. Saharan states, yeah. Uh, failure, ouch. Yeah, dice luck has just been horrible for John this game. Horrific. Now, does he take a battleground coup of Nigeria, maybe? Does he play salt for the event, finally? Some options here for Michael. What would he salt for? Soviet shoot down Cal would be a nice, a very nice headline. But I don't know if it's so strong that you salt for it. Voice of America, maybe for turn 10 AR7, but that's looking pretty far in the future. You don't know what's going to happen in between then. Red Scare is always solid. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, I think this also will be for Red Scare. Is Green Seals in the discard? I'm not sure if I saw it or not. But Red Scare would be a pretty good option. Play event. Soviets. Yeah. No? Come on, Michael. Make up your mind. Honestly, I would think that a coup of Nigeria here is pretty strong. A three-op battleground coup is, uh, I guess, solid in any situation. Even a China card coup or a salt coup of Libya would be... Uh, you could flip Middle East to even. Right now, it's plus five. You could coup Venezuela. Flip South America. No, he's intent on playing it for the event. And he grabs Soviets, and that's the end of turn 8. Plus 8 on the VP track. Auto headline. Africa scoring is great in terms of... Yes, it's going to be very difficult uh, to pull off a War Games victory for John now. Because Def comes at 5, and by the, by the time he gets back down to 2, certainly... Um, Certainly, Michael will have played Africa scoring. Special relationship solidarity, two more good events. Uh, Pershing and Socialist theoretically could both be spaced. Lone Gunman could be played right here before Def Gun drops to two. That, that is an option. However, it would kind of hurt with two scoring cards in hand. Um, it's not ideal, but let's see where things go. Even Europe is not um, like... Michael has a decent chance to fight for Europe with solidarity and special relationship to fight for that domination. Or actually, no, he wouldn't. He would need to flip the country for domination, not break. So a bit tougher, but let's see. The, there's a possibility there. Africa looks stunning, obviously. Africa could go for six, maybe even more here. What does he do with his four ops? He can't coup. That's the wording of Soviets. You cannot coup with your four ops. You have to play influence or realignments. Theoretically, realignments in Algeria, South Africa, and Venezuela are, would look pretty nice. And leaving Defcon at four is is not bad too, because you just have the counter coup to whatever. Oh, cultural revolution. So I think more important than ever to get rid of Lone Gunman because you just lost the China card. He is going for realignments. Yes. Algeria is at plus one. 
Uh, South Africa is plus one, or plus two, actually. Venezuela is plus one. Oh, he can realign anywhere, huh? Defcon's at four. Well, not anywhere, but... I mean, we could see a realignment in Burma because uh, Asia is coming down to country count right now. Place influence. Haha. <laughs> okay, decides to play it safe. Now it's a very precarious situation for uh, for Michael with lone gunman in hand. Ask not, it's out of the deck. Space six is too far away. Aldrich aims is one chance to get rid of it, but by then it will be turn ten and the game will be over anyways. War games cannot be played for the win anymore. As of right now, it's plus six. And it's DEF CONS four anyways. Michael's done a good job with that. But if John can somehow drop DEF CON two levels right now, and then if he has terrorism or another any other hand cutting cards, I think terrorism's the only one that comes to mind that might still be in the deck. Uh could be GG's. For uh, for Michael, there's a there's a possibility here of a DefCon loss, and also the question is, let's say John just does a straight up coup here, and he doesn't he doesn't drop it two levels; he only drops it one. Ask Michael, do you play Lone Gunman and show him that you have Africa scoring and Europe scoring? And Lone Gunman and DefCon three with Africa in play—that's a one-off coup of a battleground. Coup Saharan states. Huh. So instead of going for the battleground, he goes for Saharan states. That's an interesting move. Plays Africa for six. Yeah. Don't want to take any chances. Um, control was in reach for sure with a coup of Nigeria, but he would just get counter -cued. It would probably end up being the same thing. Now I think Lone Gunman is a, is a stronger possibility here because there's not too much to show. Yeah, sure, you can show Europe, but realistically he's not looking at Europe domination anyways, and neither player is. Cuban Missile Crisis likely goes for Ops. If John does not space, then I think uh, Mike will be more than happy to space both Pershing and Socialist. And Solidarity, Special Relationship, both played for events. What are John's priorities now? Africa's been scored. That does not mean he still can't coup there. Because again, turn 9, getting close to final scoring. I think an Egypt coup is a possibility here. He has a China card. A Pakistan coup is a possibility. He has options. He has options. Mexico would make it nice. All right. So we see Yuri and Samantha. Sorry, I, uh, I'm not going to lie. I just missed out. Okay. A uh, coup in Brazil, looks like. And he does play Lone Gunman and shows him the hand. Uh, I would think he would have to coup Angola here as, um, as USSR. Or realign. No, you wouldn't realign Brazil. You need to drop DEFCON here to, to, uh, to protect Nigeria. He could coup Brazil again and just hope for the hope for the control. South America scoring is in the discard. The scorings that are out are Asia, Middle East, Middle East, and Europe, which is in hand. So the three early war regions still to be scored, and then obviously final scoring. It's going to go down to the wire. It's an incredibly close game. Europe is even. Asia is even at the moment, has potential to be flipped by country count. Middle East is USSR, as is South America, while Africa and Central America lean the other way. It's pretty even. The whole board, I think, if you added up VPs, we're looking at one or two max. Right now, John making the decision on what to do with his one op. I think that's the last suicide card for, uh, for Michael to worry about as uh, Ortega does not come into play, as he has no influence in Cuba.
no matter what, he's cooling a battleground here. I don't think he wants to give a one up coup in uh, Nigeria. Although it depends on situation. For example, if he holds South America scoring, oh no, he doesn't have South America scoring. He does coup Brazil. He does fail. And we see influence placed in Brazil, but a three op card, uh, either realignments or just straight placing influence can uh, give South America control to uh, to John. If I were John, I would also, whenever I get the chance, place one into Afghanistan. Just you don't want that getting flipped and having to deal with Asia all of a sudden because three ops into Afghanistan by Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puts him up seven to six. Hey, Pedro, you there? Yeah, I just came back for the for the best. Yeah, man. Turn nine. Uh, board is even. Africa was just played. Uh, we just saw... We just saw Michael get rid of Lone Gunman. Uh, it's a very good game. We're going to go down to the wire here. Yeah. Okay, so turn 9, AR3, Europe scoring. That's going to be one BP for the USSR unless something happens, right? Yes, and John has seen this hand. John knows what uh, what, what a Michael has because Michael is forced to just play Lone Gunman. You can see at the bottom of the screen, turn 9, AR2. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Uh, how did Long Gamma not? Oh, he play John played it. No, uh, Michael was forced. So De Defcon was high. Defcon oh, okay. was uh, F five because finally, uh, I don't, uh, John Michael had been holding salt negotiations for a long time, and oh. uh, finally played it AR eight. So bumped up Defcon and grabbed a Soviet shoot down Cal O four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Special okay. relationship for the event. That's so he breaks beast. France. Yeah, he also he can also take solidarity will break. Solidarity will break as well. However, I mean it's fairly easy for uh, for John to yeah, respond by just filling him back up. And again, John has seen this hand. He knows that like yeah, there's no real chance for uh for, for Europe, like that yeah, domination. domination. Yeah. Uh oh, well, summit well, for the repair. Yeah, that's a repair right there. Yeah, solidarity for the give another shot. Pump it up. I mean, that's yeah. a, that's always good. Even if he can repair it, like having it's still worth it. Yeah, yeah. Just in case that you can, I don't know, maybe tap yeah. later to to get domination. Maybe in the last AR, if he gets a China car or a four up, he can double tap. Korean War for influence. Wow. I would. Wow, that that's got to be an auto event for him, no? I mean, it's it's a thirty-three percent, right? It's not very likely that you're gonna flip South Korea. Wait, is there one subtracted for control of South Korea itself? No, it's a, no, it's just one. It's no, just but it, it's a four. It's a uh, four to six, and it goes to five to six because of Japan. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because okay, I was saying earlier. Yeah, spaced. Man, John has failed so many times on space. I think it's been like five rolls now that he has not been able to get to space three. Sorry, not John, Michael. Michael? Oh, boy. Yeah. So that's that the, the race for the two BPs now, right? Yeah. And somehow it's a race because he was up um, <laughs> in space for a long time. Look at the, look at the comment. NASA has stalled yeah. since uh, turn two. <laughs> About turn two, I think. <laughs> Must be the budget cuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Brazil is still open for play, um, both to realignments and to direct oh, placement. Twitch chat is Twitch chat is right. Uh, right now, John could ask for a win because of the sixty minutes rule, right? But he has to say it now. If he agrees to continue playing, then it, th this is it. Perhaps I don't know. Is there a strict limit on the All Star games? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. I don't think anybody has said anything, but. The, yeah, all the no tournament is based on 60, right? Yeah. The tournament is defaulted to 60. I'm not sure. I, I highly doubt we see... Uh, we s There's no way they're ending the game right here. <laughs> like, oh, I would yeah. riot. Yeah. Okay, EEU. 
Oh my god. Ugh. So you can just uh, replace. Oh man, but playing that is tough. He, yeah. must, have, he must have a really tough hand. Like I wonder what he's holding. If he's playing East European and Rest for like on, on late war. Yeah. And he also, uh, he yeah, he gave the instead of taking the role on the war, he played for the up. So yeah, he must have yeah. a really tough hand. So we see a coup for Milops in really Uruguay, and okay. only okay. rolls a two. This is it. Let's see. Okay, tear down this wall. And terrorism. Okay, terrorism this is, is going to give him two two ARs at the end of the game. Middle East scoring is a tough one. Uh, it's gonna have to swallow that. Oh, but he has a China. Uh, the China guard is on. Uh, is on, John. on John's hand. So yeah, terrorism maybe doesn't make sense here. Actually, it's not a not an amazing uh, last hand. Oh, no. but he can take France. That's very fortunate. Tear down this wall. Yeah. Give the, the give Mike realignment. Chance for that France. Yeah. Like I said, I'm the, I said that at the beginning. They're on this wall. That's the chance. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did I mention did, it I way call back. It, yeah. yeah. I called it before it was mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what, what, what is he going to do with the rest of the hand? Uh, Swiss Christ is probably oh. going to go to space if he takes France. Maybe. He knows the only other, he knows the only other a scoring card other than Middle East is Asia. I was thinking that we might see a three-op card played into Afghanistan. What about what about that the the shadow diplomacy? You think he'll advance it? No, no chance. I think it's just it's, it'll be one VP. I think it's not it's not a swing in the Middle East. I haven't seen the Middle East for so long. That... Middle East is four one. Okay, then never mind. So I don't think it would work. Yeah, yeah. yeah it would. I mean, he'll have to spend way too many ops there. Exactly to make it worthwhile. And also, this is a hand short on ops. I mean, socialist Suez. Actually, Suez is. Is fairly playable right now. You don't care about the one in Israel. You don't care about UK. Um, but the two in France would make a difference. So those are the two that you'd have to repair. Assuming that he realigns here right now with tear down this wall, which I think he has to. So final scoring overall, I think, is looking decent from Michael. Oh, oh my god, brass board. Monster. I wonder where he brush wars. Oh, one okay. roll. Then he gets another. He he gets another one, right? Does he get He's, fancy and hope for some luck in East Germany, I or mean, does he just go maybe West Germany? Do you want to? I mean, I think East Germany is probably it's a plus zero, right? No, it's a plus. No, one. East Germany is at minus one. Yeah, plus one for like, the US. He goes Austria because why not? Oh, uh, goes Greece to empty it. Ah, he's uh, got brush Greece, war. Man. Where do we see the brush war? Uh, Anima is a possibility. Is, uh, I don't think Argentina. I think so. Brazil would be control, right? But he can yeah, always I take it on the first AR. Algeria, Korea. Algeria is a possibility. He can, he can brush war Algeria and then coup Al Angola, and all of a sudden he's up in Africa three to two. Yep. Although if he does coup Angola, Angola is realignable. So Pakistan is an is an opportunity too. Yeah. Also, he still has to repair his damage of East Germany. He could, I don't know, an I influence war in France. I don't know. I don't think he. I think he has to give up on France at the very least. Normally, I would suggest Italy, but uh, but NATO stops that from happening. Yeah. Pakistan is an option, I guess. Um. Uh, yeah, it takes back ten. There you go. I mean, that basically settles the Asia, the, yeah, Asia, right? Yeah. And he can try to poke on on last AR with China. Hope, hopefully, he kind of uh, the US kind of fix it. I don't know. Yeah, actually, the US does not have any four up cards. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, um, John doesn't know that, but yeah, I also think we definitely see a play of terrorism. By uh, by Michael. I mean, it could go both ways. You could discard something favorable to you, but in general, I think just reducing the hand size is very attractive. Well, the problem with that is 
I mean, yeah, he could have a, a card that he cannot play, but he has the Chana card, so you're not, you're not gonna take that sweet double turn, right? That's also true. That's also true. Yeah. <laughs> so if he if he was holding the Chana card, I would think terrorism is a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Pedro, gonna ask you to take over for two minutes, I'll yeah, be sure. right back. Of course, All of right. course. Okay, so we're gonna see the coup on the expected coup in Brazil. It fails sadly. Now, Michael, <clears throat> he can he could dump Middle East, but I I think he might want to do that later. Okay, he's gonna go for the. Okay, he's taking Brazil. I mean, he could get realigned easily, but. So he can, he's also threatening the realignment in Venezuela. So I guess that's an okay play. Let's force him, force John to play to it. <coughs> Sorry guys, but I'm, I'm, I'm at work already, so I have to answer emails and stuff. I did not expect this to go so, so long. So, I mean, I have to work a little extra later. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, I mean, it's not a nice hand to have on the last AR. No be away. He has space that. Okay. Is maybe his maybe his turn, Michael, to space something. You're gonna get the realignment. No, he's not place influence. Okay. <laughs> I can't get that get to space. All right, looks like not much has happened since I left. No, he's thinking. So we got Nixon got to space. He failed, okay. and he or man in Tehran. But I was answering tweet chat, so I didn't see what happened there. Okay. Well, what happened in Era One? What did or where did Ortega go? Uh, did Ortega coup on Brazil. He failed, and so okay. diplomacy to Brazil for the U.S. Nice. So he can still realign, to, uh, realign Brazil, right? Yeah, they, holds... there's a double threat of realignment, right? Right now, he could get realigned on Brazil, but he can also realign on Venezuela. So, but yeah. it seems like nobody actually went for it. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, over controlling yeah, and preparation. They don't fix mode or... already. You know, they're they just are we're protecting their key battlegrounds to make sure that they can get. All this. right. So I'm going to count Asia is zero, Europe is. At current is plus six. He will use plus five probably because he's gonna have to repair. Let's say he doesn't yeah. repair. Let's say I, right now it's at six. Do but I don't think. Do you think that? I mean, it the um, Margaret Thatcher is already gone. Sorry, what's gone? Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher card, the one that gives uh, remove. Uh, Influ Russian influence from the UK and give one U a USSR influence in Argentina. Oh, uh, what's her name? Uh, the Iron Lady. Lady. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I did not see it come up in turn 8 or 9, so it should still be around. So then, do you think that it was better to get rid of uh, um, Suez instead of 
s uh, uh, socialist governments? Uh, I think it's... There is. Oh, there we go. That's a punish, right there. Yeah. It repairs East Germany, all right. So it's F5, Middle East is also 5, they cancel out. Africa is 6, South America is 5, Central America is 2. So Central America and, and three, South America balance out. Plus 3, plus 6. All right, so the board is plus 3 for, uh, for the USA. For the USA, okay. The so, Middle East scoring still needs to be played. Um, so that's so going to that be will... plus 0, right? Okay, we go for the realignments now. Let's go, let's yeah. roll some die here. Let's see what has happens. To go for, he has to go for Venezuela. He give us the tease oh, no. and dump, doesn't pull the trigger. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. He's playing Middle East. He's, take, oh, he's oh, fighting the bullet first. No. I think we might still see an event of terrorism. I think it's a possibility. Although the unfortunate thing here is that he doesn't have any AR-7 play that he can, uh, he can make. So okay, he plays he's Middle fighting East. the bullet first. So again, board is plus three. So total right now with plus two USSR is the score. So it would go plus one USA. If you throw in the China card, we're completely even. If you throw in Milops, then uh, the USSR is up by two. But he has to get that coup, right? He has, he has to get the Milops. So if he does get the Milops and, oh, you an intervention. Four. Okay, okay. So that would be. Man, I don't know why he's not realigning. Uh, you got to realign Brazil. That's three VPs sitting. Breaks France to break uh, his domination, which is pretty big. He has to fix that now. But that's probably going to delay his chance. I don't this think he's going to go for the Venezuela realignment. Even yeah. if he realigns Venezuela, he still get dominated, right? Oh, no, no, it's 3-3. Yeah. He would actually, he'd actually fix it. Uh, oh, well, he would have to play into it as well with like two ARs. Oh, he's playing Suez. No, no, it would be 3-3, right? He has Chile, Uruguay, Argentina against Brazil, uh, Colombia, and Peru. It's, oh, country count would be 3-3. Yeah. Yes, yes. I wasn't looking at country count. Yeah, yeah. So you're right. You're correct. A realignment on the last AR would fix that. Hmm. But realignment on the last AR is also risky. You might be putting the game down to luck. So he repairs France. I think John might have a read on... Uh, on does not have a very strong hand. Yep. The China card, five ops to uh, South Korea. Like, that gives... Uh, I mean, it will oh, it will do it. All, it will do it on Japan because he would not. Beautiful. Be I think I, I'm making my prediction right now. I think John's gonna take it. I think John uh, John is doing the right thing by pushing forward here. Yeah. Um, USA still needs to repair France. He still needs Milops. He still needs yeah. to do AR seven. I, I think that's what he's doing, right? He's pushing him so if he force him not to coup. It's beautiful. That is to be peace on his side. Beautifully played. Yeah. He's he's doing he's pushing through and and Michael is right against the wall right now. He has to get those two BPs if he wants to ensure the victory. Probably. Thing is, he can't. He can't over control France. No. I mean, he can't over control Europe because he can over control France, sure. But then West Germany will just be broken. It'll be the same thing yeah. functionally. Yeah. And he could play terrorism for the event, but that would just force. Uh, force uh, John to play the China card which is not really something that he wants <laughs> well I, oh, I think man. I think he'll do it for for Asia I think on the last AR he's gonna he's gonna hold that he doesn't have a four up and slam the four ups on Japan and get the uh, the three two Michael's adding up the scorings as am I South America and Middle East are even central oh sorry they're both for one player 10 six two plus two I think John is gonna take it. If Europe stays, if Europe stays neutral, then it, the board is plus two for uh for USSR, which means overall it's plus four, <clears throat> plus six, plus seven. If you count the China card and Mill Ops right now, the game would end at plus seven for USSR. So let let's see the options here. So right now Michael has to fix Europe, overprotect France. Then he's gonna then on the AR seven. Uh, 
the USSR has to choose? Do they want to break Europe? Do they want to flip Asia? I think uh, Michael will be forced to go for realignments, and he has to hope to get lucky. He has to strike Venezuela, and then possibly strike need Nigeria and get the get the control. If he gets a big role in Nigeria, that's worth five five VP. So I think it would have to be Nigeria. Yeah, that's his only chance here. Here we go. I think because right now he has to play. Right now he plays terrorism, and then Iran Contra he can play on the last AR with no negative effects. Yeah. Oh man, this is tense. Yep. Here we go, boys. It's all also down assuming to this. assuming that uh actually not assuming two hours two. game down to. Okay, he's getting the coup, so he's going for the BPs. He's taking the Milops. Also, but, uh, assuming that uh, John plays the China card, that's two VPs also back to uh, back okay. to Michael. Nice, a success in Uruguay. He protects Brazil. And okay, he so stops that, that actually does it for now on, on South America, right? So now it's the last AR for the US. Oh, well. man. Oh, boy. I would break Asia. I, 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 think I, would go, break I, Asia. I would go for Japan. That's five BPs. It's five BPs on Asia just to slam the China guy there. South America just went down four VPs. Yep. So six, six. Oh, he gets them back in Asia. And then he might then he fixes Europe. But Europe cancels out with Asia. Yeah. The board is seven, seven and five. The I think board he is wins. plus two. Right? The board is plus two, Michael. I think Asia doesn't do it. I think Asia is not enough. Asia just cancels us for Europe. What if he breaks? Uh, I think I think you're right. I think Michael is well set here because right now the board is plus two for the USA. Um, and remember, the China card will give that one VP back to Michael. That yeah. is a factor here. Yep. If he holds the China card, he does have one card besides the China card, which he can choose to play. I don't know what that card is. It could be a four up. If it's a four up, but if it's a four up, it'd be enough because Michael doesn't have a, a three up. If but if Michael's a, had a three up. A, okay, I could be wrong here. If that's a four up and he plays all of it into South Korea and John responds by fixing Europe, I think it's a tie. Oh my God. Are we getting because to this? Is no. Gonna be a tie? Wait. No, please. Wait, I gotta count again. Europe's even. <clears throat> Central America is plus two. That's plus one. Seven. Seven and five is two. The board is right now is plus two USA. So the score for so theoretically even, is even. even. Is even, right? Yeah. And the China card gives the USSR plus one. Or the USA, whoever is holding it. Well, if it depends on what he plays. The USSR is up right now by one VP. Everything considered. Okay, he's he plays the China, China card. The USSR is okay. down one VP. Okay. USSR is down one VP. I think he loses the game. If I'm adding everything up correctly, right now. So right now the US, has... the US doesn't have to do anything to win. He could uh he could space yeah. and win or he could do anything and win. I think he's up by one, right? He doesn't have more space shots, but he could just try some realignments, right? He could go. But for... it doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't need to. He's up by. He's up by one VP right now, Michael. I think that's GG's. Okay. According to me, uh, according to my calculations, I think eight. According to the math, he cracks the math. He's making the math right now. He's two. following. He's following your train yeah. of thought. He's like, I'm, I did it. Oh, win. South America is two, not one. How is South America two? I missed that. Never mind. It's even. But he can just break uh, any country and win. Yeah, he can place into Cuba and win the game. Yeah, Cuba is a two VP swing, right? Yeah, he could place into Venezuela and uh, and take it. Yeah, I think uh, that's GG this for Michael. Is it. So that says this is it, right? Yeah, board is even. Yeah, he takes Cuba and uh, so win that's by it. two VPs. <laughs> just dragging oh it out. Final scoring, two VPs. Oh my god. Actually, the thing was that John did not know uh, how weak Michael's hand was. He did not know that all he had was a two up. Otherwise, yeah. he wouldn't have pumped off four into uh, into Europe. But... Yeah, he would have he would have pushed through in Europe and probably get the game. But yeah, 
if he had pushed in Asia, uh, I think it would have been the same result, actually. Oh, okay. Plus two VPs so for Michael, Michael gets it. Let's see if we can talk to Michael briefly. Yeah, that was a, a very fun game to watch. Lengthy. But yeah. uh, that was a real all-star game. Hey, and here is a official victory for the rest of the world over Europe. Yes, 3 nothing, regardless say, of what happens in the final two matches. We can say... The next games, so Michael got this one. That's 3-0 for the rest of the world. And we have yes, Federico sir. Troiani next week against Anthony Russo. And oh. for the last game of the series would be the C-man, Sima Wipardeski against Michael Stryker from the USA. Wow, that is two amazing matchups. Yeah, that is absolutely two amazing matchups, and I cannot wait for the ga that game five. Even though there's yeah. nothing, there's nothing in there, but I love to uh, watch Simo we play.